In Italy, the censorship is more subtle. Uh, it runs uh, through big editors that are totally uh, connected with the politics, with big powers, uh, uh, and they don't publish you, or, uh, uh, and runs on this uh, uh, army, I would say, of uh, young journalists that uh, are so poorly paid that they don't really have, uh, you know, the, the, the time, the guts uh, to, to do proper journalism, because uh, if you have to write uh, for, for 10 euros, uh, or, and you have to do at least uh, five or six articles per day, how can you be accurate? Uh, how can you uh, really do a question uh, which uh, puts you in a bad light uh, in front of the politician? Uh, so this is another way of, uh, uh, of having uh, a low level of control from the media, uh, from the power point of view. And, of course, uh, we have uh, a still strong uh, control uh, of part of Italy from uh, organized crime, mafia, camorra, and other kind of organized crime. When uh, you talk about organized crime, and most of all, if you come from the place you are writing about, uh, it's still really, really dangerous. And, uh, I mean, we know some cases, we know Saviano, Giovanni Tizian, but there are a lot of uh, journalists uh, which are constantly under attack and, and nobody knows about that. So we have this part of Italy who's working in this way and the other one uh, which has this subtle uh, corruption uh, and uh, so on. Also, we don't have uh, at all a strong organizations uh, to protect journalists. We do have organizations, but they're really, really not functional. At in this moment.